As the owner of the first black self-care boutique in Candle Bar in Miami Gardens, you can say that May Rain is literally burning the candle at both ends. Her business named Moonflower Essentials now has two locations, a mall kiosk and now a brick and mortar store. As our celebration of Black Business Month continues, we learn how she managed to build this thriving business during the pandemic. And so the name Moonflower Essentials represents my life and the life of women like me because we are limitless. We are unstoppable when we learn how to grow where we are planted. So a moonflower blooms in the dark and that defines me. I am a person that bloomed from the dark. May Rain is the founder and CEO of Moonflower Essentials. What prompted me to start my own business um, was just the desire to join the amazing group of black business owners. I believe in my craft, I believe in what I'm doing, I believe in self-care, and I understood that that was just a avenue that I was needed in. She recognized a need and decided that she was the best person to fulfill it at a time when businesses as a whole are struggling. The secret is faith. I have crazy faith. So I am a person that believes that within chaos there is opportunity, and I believe that uh, COVID and some of the other things that we're experiencing economically definitely catapulted self-care to the front of our to-do list. And so because I'm enthusiastic about self-care, I felt that that was a space where I'm most needed. Well, the pandemic came as a surprise to all of us, of course, okay? And for me, I had made a plan. I had written in my journal and I had done my vision boarding. And I had said that on my birthday, in 2020, you know, the year of perfect vision for me, I would walk away from my state job after 15 years. And so I did that, you know, I put in my two week notice and I was excited. I'm like, you know, thinking about how I was going to fund my life and my business and all of these things. And so I said, well, I have my monthly poetry events which bring in revenue, okay? I have the, the branding and the, all of the other things, the coaching that will bring in revenue. And what happened is as soon as I quit my job, everything shut down. So my monthly poetry night was shut down. And I said, uh-oh. And of course, when that happens, you get people saying, did you move too quickly? Did you not hear clearly what you were supposed to be doing right now. And that's where faith came in. You know, I really did believe what God had told me. And that was that this was the time to make that move. While May stepped up when she saw an opportunity, she, like so many other business owners, are encountering a problem of reluctance when it comes to providing opportunities to work. I would say that hiring is one of our, one of our biggest challenges, you know. Um, for some reason, I've had the, had the experience where when you do hire, it is hard to get people to understand the vision. They see the money coming in, you know, and they don't know that, hey, this is not just money that's going into my pocket. This has to pay our overhead. This has to pay for employees. This has to pay for, you know, lights and whatever it is. But for a small business, it kind of appears that every dollar that comes in is going back to you. And so you, you have the challenge of explaining to young people, especially because we hope that we're also growing young entrepreneurs as well. And so you want to explain the difference between what is coming in versus what is profit. Mentorship, teaching, you know, I, I now have my goddaughter that is working with me, Adonasia, she's great. Her community is rallying to support her and she has made paying it forward part of her mission. So I'm finding ways to also give back to the community as well because my community pours so much into my business. They are here all the time. They have come in to help stock. I mean, just random friends of mine, family, everybody has come in to say, how can we help you? Because they believe in Moonflower Essentials. I am giving back by doing everything that I can. When they have projects that are going on, I show up as well. I pour into their organizations as well. So it's definitely a give and take. We do a lot of networking events, um, just all the time that my friends are saying, 
this is what we're doing, this is where we're giving to children. Um, I've done pizza parties at homeless shelters. And so I'm very intentional about how I can pour into my community as well. So I'm also going to be doing a law enforcement day where we'll be discounting candle prices for law enforcement. Uh, we'll be doing that also for our firefighter community, for our teachers as well. So all of those events will be happening for the month of August, just to say thank you to the Miami Gardens Police Department and everyone that keeps an eye out and looks over the space. I'm truly grateful and I wanna express that. And her community is celebrating her with high honors for building her bottom line by building up the community. I'm here for it. Uh, how it makes me feel is just that, you know, black folks, we have to use our voices. We have to use every opportunity that we can to show up for each other, to support, to promote, and to push black business, black culture, black love, and everything black. I'm rooting for everything black. And I want the community to come out to enjoy the space. We always have our neo soul going. Um, it's a space of love, it's a safe space. And so we're happy about it. We're gonna do amazing things here. We're gonna do some small poetry nights here. We're gonna do some small candle making parties and candle classes and girls conversations and that type of thing. This is a space of women's empowerment and in particular, black women's empowerment. Moonflower Essentials is located at 17942 Northwest 27th Avenue in Miami Gardens, or you can find our kiosk at Pembroke Lakes Mall in Pembroke Pines.